Hello, welcome back to Getting Started with Houdini, episode 8. And this will be the final episode in the series where we will not do a lot of things, uh, but I will just uh, tell you and lay out how we're going to proceed with everything in Houdini. So uh, we have learned about how to navigate in Houdini, how to, you know, uh, get our hands a little bit dirty with modeling and copying things and mostly we have been dealing with geometry workflows and you might be asking well <clears throat> this is all well and fine but where do we get to exploding things <laughs> uh, when we're gonna do the destruction and other simulations now here's the thing before we go to you know proceed to getting to those effects we have to get a solid grasp on attributes attributes and vops and everything that's connected to this type of things that are you know they are operating on the data inside of houdini and it sounds a little bit intimidating possibly but it actually not is not very hard but regardless we have to understand what's going on so uh, let me show you on the example of the taurus so i control left click the taurus and we have the taurus <clears throat> Currently, we know everything about it, and if we go to uh, Pyro Effects, and let's say make it a fireball out of this Taurus, and I just left click with the uh, Taurus selected, I left click, and something is going on, and we can see that we actually have computed a little bit of fireball. So, what I'm trying to say is that before the actual simulation uh, you know is uh, being simulated right uh, there's a lot of things that you possibly have to learn have to know how to operate and so for example the source will be uh, our source of the source but uh, these attribute density has come from somewhere and it actually comes from our geometry we could create our fuel we add the noise on the attributes and the attribute is fuel, temperature, all that, and we rasterize out and yada yada. But we'll talk about that uh, when we talk about pyro simulation. The point is, if you don't understand what's going on with the attributes, you will be having a very hard time going forward with anything, be it uh, motion graphics or, you know, uh, genera uh, generative design or simulations now again this might be the place when you think oh well here we go right houdini at its best um, scaring people away and yada yada that is not true because uh, hopefully at this point you are seeing that if we go through uh, through the uh, you know workshop through the tutorials which are step by step laid out you just built upon your previous acquired knowledge it's not hard sure there is a little bit more information than you might have signed up for before right it's not just moving vertices around and whatnot but do not be afraid of uh, you know just it sounds kind of like density temperature you know velocity attributes normals whatever um when we will be done with the attribute workshop you'll you'll have a very solid grasp it will be not it will be not hard um i'll explain everything it's just what i'm saying is before we go to the simulations part it's really important to talk about the attributes and as a bonus attributes will unlock more interesting effects that we can work with like i previously mentioned um, it's extremely useful for generative design uh, and motion graphics and well a lot of things really because houdini lives in briefs attributes so we will learn about those and hopefully i will see you in the next videos uh, thanks for watching i know this wasn't uh, extremely informative but you know, it is what it is. It's just, how do we proceed? We go to attributes. And after that, I will talk about everything else that Houdini has to offer and how we can use that in different engines, for example, in Unreal Engine 4 and maybe somewhere else. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later. Stay safe and have a good day.